I'm talking to Alexander van Boyenbroek here uh, at the fifth European Pouch Conference in Osnabrück with Innoform and you presented a very interesting method to control leaks. But you don't see the leaks, you avoid leaks. So this was one of the main messages. How do you do that? Yes, indeed. Uh, well, in fact, we use a new uh, technology based on infrared and uh, the infrared uh, technology offers you the possibilities that you can inspect continuously the three main parameters in ceiling which are temperature, time and pressure. Especially pressure is something that is really getting visual while you use this technology and therefore we will see after that you have taught your equipment how the seal should be, the differences that occur in, during your real active production. So when the machine is running and there is some product in the seal or it will immediately give a different pattern in your image which we detect so it doesn't say it's already leaking but at least you get a signal there is an issue and then it's up to the operators or the people from the factory to look more in detail what is what is happening you gave some data why this is important for the industry what what is the main reason to check the, the defects in pouches <laughs> um, Okay, it's a little bit depending on your on your business, but uh, we see uh, more and more that uh, a lot of companies, especially in the pharma, but also more and more in the food, uh, people that are confronted with uh, uh, products that, that were really sent back, especially uh, people that are producing for Asia, for instance, they get complete containers back. So the costs are getting grow higher and higher, and uh, it, it is very easy to earn the investment back. Because, um, well, we did some uh, calculations on that and the payback time is actually between three and, 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 and six months in most cases. Of course, it's depending on the type of product. If you have an expensive product, yeah, then it's easy. But uh, you have also products which are uh, like, like ships or, yeah, then it takes more time. And it's maybe not so critical. So effective for, I would say, middle uh, price worthy uh, c uh, products and, um, and, and, and when quality is really in, in stake or risk are there for, for consumers for instance then it's, it's, it's really unnecessary according to our opinion. Okay this is a very interesting technique are there any, any limitations to put it in the line where do you put it on the line directly behind the ceiling jaws or m more uh, far away? Yeah well as we are inspecting the actual residual heat of the ceiling uh, which can ma be made on, on with every technology, uh, ultrasonic, impulse or conductivity. Um, it is very important to measure it as soon as possible. And basically the only thing that we need is a free view on the actual seal that has been made. So the step after, or two steps after, but be before any active cooling, because then you lose the, well, the temperature. And another imp uh, important thing is um, that the seal must not uh, bend away or fold it. So we, we like to have a little bit straight view. Uh, the good news is that we can use uh, stainless steel or aluminium mirrors so we can look around the corner. Sometimes a machine is so tight, not so much space, that with some help of a mirror we can still find the real seal. Yeah. So you look on the pouch, not on the sealing jaws? Uh, yes, indeed. We, we actually, what we really inspect is the final result of your seal process. So not everything around, but really what did the temperature do on the quality of your seal. Thank you very much for this quick interview. Thank you very much, uh, Karsten. Yeah.